Hello, my angels. So guess what came in the mail? Another Temu haul. A lot of these are repeats, though. So you kind of get to see what I like a lot. So much that I bought it multiple times. Because <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> okay. So. The smell, I can't. But. So Temu is a website where you can get a lot of stuff very inexpensive. Lee, a lot of things you can find on Amazon and uh, other websites, but they're more affordable because they're going direct from manufacturer um, or, you know, like the provider to us, the customer. If you want to use my code below, it helps my channel get $5, which I'm really excited for, <laughs> which allows me to buy other things and show you new and exciting things. So these are the things that I've purchased. Um, I'm happy to share them with you. I'm really excited. And right off the bat, um, I, there's going to be like some odd odds and ends. And it's really interesting because, um, is there any fashion in here? There's a little bit of fashion, odds and ends, and then you'll see. I really like certain items so much that I bought multiples of them, okay? So right off the bat, I got this organizer. I, I already have this one. And it's the one where you actually put your knives, plates, uh, sorry, kni knives, forks, and spoons in vertically. So it only takes up this much space instead of the ones that are usually wider and they take up that much space. So this way you have more room in your actual um, drawer. And I already have one. I got this as a backup because I really like that a lot and I just know it's going to get dirty after some time. So, and this was only $4. These things are like 15, anywhere from 10 to $20 anywhere else. So for $4, I was like, let me just get a backup so that I have it. Then, if you guys have watched any of my channels, I love the wooden puzzles. These puzzles, this is shaped like a circle, and then all the pieces inside, this is a medium, are cut up into pieces that look like animals. So they're not your traditional puzzle pieces. So that makes it more exciting and challenging. And there's a website that I originally bought these from, and they were like $15 for the medium and almost 30 to 20 to $30 for the large. And on Temu, the medium's like $8 and the large is like 11 That's a significant savings. So I bought a few of them. This is the sea turtle and it looks exactly like that. The shape looks like this. It's not a square. It's not a circle. It looks just like a sea turtle. This one looks like a circle. So I've been buying the ones that I've wanted from the other website on Temu because they're pretty much identical. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But there's they're significantly less, like half price. I'm not spending full price on anything. If you guys have seen my channel, you guys know that I love these backpack organizers. So I think I got two more of these and three of the little ones, and I'll show you how I'm going to use them. It's, it's, it's a very nice quality. It looks really, really, really nice. Let me just get it out. The back looks like this. It's a nice material. A pocket here, a pocket here. This to pull it out, this to hang your keys on, if you have like a carabiner kind of thing. You have two pockets here, a zip pocket here. On the side, it just opens up. And then you have the two water compartments here. And then you have two, uh, a, like a mesh pocket here and then two pockets up here. And I love this, it folds into nothing. So you can store it vertically in your closet if you're not using it. But I just did a video on I'll see if I, I don't know if I'm publishing this one first or the other one first, a video on my uh, totes in my bag collection. I have like over 150 bags and I just reviewed some of my totes. So for example, if you have the Louis Vuitton tote and it's just one big open space, right? You can put this in there. And you, I mean, obviously it's a backpack organizer, so it's supposed to be for your backpack, but you can put this in there, right? And now you have an organizer for your Louis Vuitton tote. Now there also is on Temu, I just had it. They have their own felt organizers here. But I, well, this is a, the other backpack organizer from Temu. So this one is a large and it has three pockets on the top, one zip pocket, one in the front, and then a big pocket on the back. And then it has these dividers where you can put it in here and divide it into three compartments. But I like to keep my laptop in here so it, this part doesn't work for me. But if you did want to do that, it would you know, it would create 
three compartments in the center if you wanted that. I do like this one a lot, but, and I like it for this bag because it's beige. So for me, it's a little bit better. So now you have an, an organizer for your tote, whether you get the felt one or you get this one. Um, so I really liked it for that. This one is a Kate Spade tote. And I just want to show you if I put it in here, how it fits. It just almost touches the top. I don't like that. I like it when it's shorter. So I probably wouldn't use it in this one. But if you have one of these like long totes, I think the Gucci ones are also useful too. If you have the Gucci totes. Hold on, let me see. Because the, the vintage ones tend to be bigger. Then you can actually use this. Hold on, let me open it up. Show you what it looks like. To organize the inside of your Gucci tote. I'm actually going to probably leave this one in there. Yeah, because that one I actually like. Okay. So there's that. I bought two of those because I liked it so much. I actually have three of them now. That's how much I like that one. And then I got two of the smaller ones. Now, the smaller ones are for smaller bags. Obviously, we don't all have these very long oversized totes. This is for like a mini backpack. Or if you have like a medium sized bag, like a hobo bag or something like that, that's a little tall, but not too tall. This also works as an organizer. Same exact compartments, two small, two, two, one, in, two in the back, the one, two in the front, and then the zipper. But it's just on a smaller scale. So for example, let's see. Here. I don't think it's going to fit in here. Like I have this bag, right? It's a Tory Burch tote. It's east to west. I could actually use the Longchamp organizer in this one. I actually probably should put that one in there. But like, let's say I didn't want all of that. Let's say I just wanted half of it to be organized. You could put this little one in here and still have all that space on the other side to put whatever you want in it. And you could organize it halfway. Uh, it's also good for medium sized bags. Unfortunately, I don't have any medium sized bags to show you. But I got three of these. So now I have four of them. One of them is in my backpack that I showed you a while ago. Um, another one I'm going to use for another mini backpack that I have. And then the other two I'm just going to use for other random things. Okay, let's just get rid of this bag. Hold on. Anything else in there? No, I just dumped everything on the floor. It makes it a lot easier. So then here, randomness. This is, okay, I've been using this and it's been helping me because I had a really bad double chin. I still have one, but I'm working on it. Um, but mine is starting to get destroyed. These wear out very quickly. I only have, I've only used it for like two, three weeks and it's already starting to like fall apart. So basically what it is, it's a chin strap and it goes like this over your head and then you put these two behind your neck like this over your head and then this one goes behind your neck and you keep it on for about 30 minutes every day and your neck will start to sweat but it's kind of pushing your neck up and of course it looks good after you take it off but then your neck starts to fall again because it's gravity but what it does is it creates like a pressure like it's making the muscles work and I, it's it's helped me significantly not like oh my god wow but I noticed the difference like and I'm also using a neck strainer that I got from let me see if I can find it from Temu to help kind of push my neck back because I had a little hump here and I'm trying to get the hump out. And then recently somebody offered me um, a sponsored video to, to use the same thing, but in a, it's like shaped a little bit differently. So these are also from Temu. I'm giving one of each away that comes in blue and in green. And it's a very Goyard inspired um, bag that you can use when you're going shopping. Like you can just keep it in your pocket like that, like a little square. And then one side looks correct, like this, right? And then th that little pocket goes inside, right? One side looks correct, so it looks like this. And the other side is upside down, which I don't understand why they did that, but probably for copyright purposes. And there's this one, and then there's the blue one, which is this one. And I bought three of each, right? So I'm going to give one away of each on this channel later, like when we get to like 3,000, 2,000 two to three thousand subscribers right now we're, we're we're inching our way up um i might give one away a little bit earlier if i do a substitution 
And then there was this one, which is the blue one with like the brown. Oh, this one has brown. The other one had beige. This one has brown trimming like this one. Interesting. The other one had like a beige trimming. I better keep those. I like the beige trimming. Um, and then on the back, it's upside down again. So these are just great little totes to have in your collection. Um, if you like, you know, designer inspired things. I mean, obviously it's not a designer brand, but it has that look and feel. So I like it. Okay. I'll fold those later. And then I got these socks, which I thought were super cute. They've been in my cart forever. Right. And I, you know, I'm dating a guy who makes me take my shoes off every time I come over. So I got these socks. Come on. And it, one of the, they're all yellow and it looks like this one looks like this. So it looks kind of woven. This one looks like it has flowers on it. It's kind of cute. This one is just like a plaid. Another floral one. Another debossed one. Uh, or embossed, however you want to say it. But it's circular. It's, I think they're the, these are the same. Yeah, they are. And then this one, which looks like it has a little bear on it. Now, I, I like them. I think they're adorable to go with certain shoes. Uh, they are a little bit childish, but I like them. <laughs> so that's why I bought them. And then let's see what else we have in here. This was a free gift. So I guess I ordered so much stuff that they gave me something for free. And this is a shoe, like a foot stretcher. So I have what's called ankle rollout. And it, sometimes my ankle hurts like you can get plantar fasciitis and a bunch of other things. It hurts a lot. So they have these things that you put your foot in, right? Your foot goes through here and then you strap it in and you, you take this strap after you've strapped it in, it would be like this. And then you pull and it makes your toe, your toe, let's say this is your foot. It makes your foot go like this. And when you do that, when your foot goes like this, you pull the muscle on the back of your leg that when it tightens, it hurts. And that's what causes the pain sometimes. They have other exercises where you put your foot behind your back and then you pull it up. So I don't know if this has the exercises on it. Let's see. This is what it looks like just to give you guys an idea. Let's take this out. But if you actually look at the link, it'll show you all the exercises. I'm going to take a screenshot of that later on. But that's the exercise. There was actually something that I bought on Amazon that did it automatically. And you just took this. It was a Velcro piece and you Velcroed it up to here and then you slept with it. And that pulled your leg. But this is an actual exercise. Oh, I'm sorry. Your actual heel went through the bottom, not your toes. Um, your heel went through the bottom and then it pull, and you pull. And then you can also put it behind your back and pull up like that and that'll help with your ankle issues if you have any ankle issues so this is I mean these things are expensive and ugh, I got it for free I mean like if you go on Amazon they're like 15 20 bucks or whatever and then the last thing I got because I got so many repeats there was like a lot of things in that box but oh I wanted to show you um, I gotta show it to you I'll show it to you in another video the next thing was this cat toy, which I'm really excited to play with my cat with. Um, trying to see if there's anything else I could show you guys from Temu. No. There are a pair of these glasses that um, I'm going to put the link for below. And they look just like Gucci glasses and they have the GG on them. So if anything, if you're looking for something nice, these glasses are fire. And they have the GG on them, which is like, how are they doing this? Um, do. Oh, and then this thing. There's actually a can and you can put this in your cupboard and when you open it, you can store stuff in it. It's a legit metal can with the actual information on it. I actually bought this for a family member who asked me to buy it, which I thought was so cute because there's no way that anyone would ever think I have this in my pantry. I don't like beets. Um, I don't even eat canned food. So I picked that up for somebody and then they also had me pick this one up for them which the light bulbs and we don't have light bulbs like this. We have those little ones. Um, so again, this is not feasible for my space, but just so you guys know, they have that stuff on Temu and I'll put the links on it 
for you guys. Is there anything else I can show you? So this is a game I have had in my cart for over two months. And I really wanted this for my cat. And it's kind of like whack-a-mole. Buffer cats. And so she has a scratch pad here. She can scratch it. And then I just go like this. And she and then I, I bring it down. And she's supposed to hit it. Oh, this one's stuck. This one doesn't go all the way down. Interesting. The other ones do. So I'm going to try and play this with her tonight. I thought it was super cute. You know, I couldn't justify the price. It was like $17. But I really wanted this for her because I haven't bought toys for her in so long. And I, f I see that she's getting bored. You know what I mean? I used to have like all these toys for her and then I started giving them away because they started getting worn out and I don't like worn out stuff in my house. Um, and so I'm going to put this down just for her to scratch so she could enjoy that and then I'll play with her every so often. Maybe she could play with herself. I don't know. But that's what I got for her. So that's all I have for you for Temu right now. I'll show you some of the handbag organizers that I've purchased in the past that were very useful. This is another one that's also good for totes and this is from Temu. And it has two pockets down here, two on the top, right? And then it has on the inside two water bottle holders, a zipper compartment, two open compartments, a zipper compartment, and two open. This has a lot of space. And this is also good for. Let me find. I'm looking for another tall toe. I have the. I have another Gucci on this one. So if you don't want your organizer to go all the way to the top, you can put this in here. And I feel like this would be more for like a bigger bag, not this one. And then you have your organizer in there. I feel like this should be more for like a softer, not a, like this is a very structured bag. I actually like the gray ones for these. So when it's structured, you don't need a lot of structure. So the gray one works. When it's not structured, you need structure, so the felt ones work. Um, this is too tall. This one work? This is a messenger bag I had. There's no branding on it. I don't think I need it in here, but just to show you. So if you wanted to put it inside like a messenger bag, you can open it up. No, I feel like this is more for softer totes. And all the totes I took out were very structured. The only soft tote I have is this one, which I would make a diaper bag if I ever had a baby. And then I pu you put it right here and it opens up. Right, because it's big, it, it, it has a lot of space and now you can organize the inside of your bag. So I feel like this is more for east to west totes and tall totes, but they have to be like loose, squishy, I need structure kind of totes versus totes with structure because they kind of like counteract each other. So I'll put the link for this if I could find it. I do like the backpack tote, which we put in this bag. I'm not going to keep it in this bag because I'm actually going to put this one in my backpack, but well, maybe, I don't know. I kind of like that it's brown. Let's see if I open it up. Hold on. Hmm. I might do this. Okay, so it would look like this open. And then it opens up the sides a little bit. I mean, it could work in this one. I don't use this bag because it's a bottomless pit and because I don't like holding bags top handle. Oh no, it sticks out on the top. I don't like that. Well, maybe if I push it down. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, if I push it down, you don't see it. It's because it was open. Like, you know, it was, it was getting shut. I'm not a big fan of top handles, which is why I've never worn this bag. I, I bought it and I just never, never did anything with it. It's just been sitting there. Um, because it's uncomfortable. It's a top handle. I mean, everything gets lost in there, but maybe with this one, I'll do it. Maybe. 
Um, this one, the felt ones are also good when you have like this very soft Jan Sport kind of backpacks that they're all mushy and they have like no structure if you don't put anything in them. And this will help to give it that structure to get it to stand upright and to like put stuff in it. So I only have one Jan Sport kind of backpack that has like a message on it. Um, I think I have like two backpacks that are like that, that are, well, and then the, well, I have another one, but I would put the gray one in it, um, cause it's gray. So it makes more sense. So I might leave this one in here. Haven't quite decided yet. Actually, let me do it. Well, no, because I don't want to cover the Louis Vuitton. I want to show it. So <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to turn it around, but then I cover up the, the thing on the inside. So if you have this tote or you have tall totes like that, like the Gucci ones, and you want some kind of organization, I highly recommend these backpack organizers. Phenomenal. Well, that's what I have for you guys. I do do giveaways on my channel. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like my vibe, please subscribe. If you like my style, you're always, always welcome to come back for a while. Um, but it's every 25 subscribers until we get to 1,000. Uh, I'm doing a giveaway every 100 subscribers from 1,000 to 2,500, every 250 subscribers from 250 to 5,000. And there's going to be giveaways, you know, for every increment that I just told you. So get excited. Check out my giveaway videos. Like, subscribe. You have to be subscribed and put what you want in the comment section to qualify for my giveaways. Again, if this is your first time on Temu and you saw anything you liked, the links will be below. Please click on the Temu link to sign up if you've never had an account with them. You'll get 30% off. I'll get $5. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> Helps me a lot. Please share with your friends. I would really appreciate that. Uh, until the next haul, because, you know, there's always more. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.